everyone, welcome back. It is Friday Favorites and Flaps. Hopefully you guys had a great week. So I have a few products to share with you and when I was going through, I was like, wow, I actually have a ton of stuff to share this week and I do have a flop this week. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, first I wanted to start off with something that I just got today. So I can't really speak like too much, although I did use the brushes to get ready today, but these are the Wet n Wild brushes, and the reason I want to mention them is because right now they are buy one, get one 50% off. This set is uh, $30 at Walgreens. You cannot find them online anymore. They're out of stock, but if you can look at the store locator and see if they have them in your area. I happen to have one store in my area that had a ton of of them left. It's a 10 piece brush set and the brushes are so quality. My friend Shades of Cassie has been talking about these for years and she mentioned that they come out with this holiday set and the quality is just really really great on these brushes so um, I picked one up for a gift and then I picked one set up for myself because it was buy one get one 50% off and hello. So anyways they have these beautiful like chrome pink chrome handles and it just is, I, I'm just going to show you the ones that I use, but it comes, the brushes are literally so soft and super quality. They have like a little nook right here where like you can, your finger fits. I use this one for my blush. I mean, so soft on the face, applied really well. This one is like a blending brush I used for my eyeshadow today. And then I packed eyeshadow on with this shadow brush and then a highlighter brush. And I didn't use this one, but I pulled this one out because usually I would use this type of brush to do like a cream contour. Um, but sometimes these types of brushes, I'm like, what do I do with that? But anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys these brushes just in case you wanted to get them because get them now while you can makes a great gift for the holidays. Then this like really big powder brush, you can use this as a bronzer. So anyways, really, really nice brush set and affordable, especially if it's buy one, get one 50% off. You have to use your Walgreens card, so make sure you do that. I mean, it just makes like a really nice gift. So I wanted to mention that even though I just pulled those out and used them today for the very first time. So it's not really technically a weekly favorite, but when I, I was really impressed and my friend Cassie can vouch for the fact that they're good. Next thing I want to talk about is from Frank Body. Now I've heard so many things about Frank Body and now they're sold in Ulta stores. So the first, my friend Stephanie from Babs Beauty was always talking about how they had the best coffee scrub. Now I didn't try that out, but I tried out this green teas. So this is an extremely amazing body scrub. I love the packaging of this product. Can I just say? comes in these like little pouches um, and you just open it up and like the scrub is inside. This makes my skin so, so soft. Honestly, like you just take a dip a little bit out, get your body wet in the shower and use it to exfoliate. If you are someone who self tans or I have really, really dry skin, so I have to exfoliate a lot just to get my body like slough off that skin. This has been wonderful. So definitely they did sponsor this video and sent me these products to try and I was super impressed with the products and definitely think that you guys should check them out now that they're sold in Ulta stores. I Like I said, I haven't tried the coffee scrub but I hear amazing things about that. That's gonna be the next product that I pick up. Another thing that I tried, honestly, this would make the perfect stocking stuffer. I'm gonna go and get more for stockings this year. So it comes in this like little pouch like this and it's called the Cherry Bomb Lip Duo. So if you have someone in your life who likes lip scrubs and like this is like a lip tint, this is perfect, perfect. Frank's body is cruelty free and natural. This lip scrub is so good. So it's got like this almost like, I don't know. It's like this really nice consistency. It's not too hard, it's pretty soft. So when you dig in, you can get a significant amount on your finger. And then when you rub it into your lips, it just does a really great job of exfoliating. But honestly, it doesn't like hurt my lips like some exfoliators do. It's just really soft and hydrating. I love this a lot. And then you can follow it up with this little product right here. This is a lip smooth and it's in Cherry Balm. It does have like a little bit of like a red 
tint to it. I just want to show you really quick. So it does have like a little red tint to it. So it is going to leave your lips like a little bit of tinted and juicy. There is like a slight cherry scent, but it's not like a sickening cherry scent. It's more of like a really natural cherry scent. So I've been loving this product and how cute is like this little duo in this bag. So definitely check it out. So if you guys are interested in the products, I will leave a link in the description box, but I definitely highly recommend the body scrubs just cause they exfoliate the body really well. Oh, I do have one more product I wanted to show you. There is this scrub. I only have tried this one once, but I did really love it. It's whipped for your convenience. This is a creamy exfoliator. Um, so it's another body scrub. I mean, again, the packaging, super cute and this is just this alone is like something cute I think I'm going to get one of these and put my mom's stocking but you like squeeze out the product from here and it is a really nice creamy consistency exfoliator um, perfect again for the shower it makes your skin feel super soft um, I love products like this this has like a creamy I would say like a vanilla -y scent but again not too strong um, because they are all natural products so they have like a hint of like a scent to them but it never is super overpowering. So I know last week I talked about Collab Beauty's bronzer which is definitely amazing. I totally think you should pick that up but I've been using the blushes this week and um, this one is the sheer blush in just for fun and it's a really pretty pink shade. They have several different shades but this is just the one that I've been wearing a lot this week and it's just a really nice buildable color. You're not going to get too much on but it's nice and it kind of sinks in. It's the color I'm wearing on my cheeks today and like I said I just really like it uh, so definitely check out the blushes they have a variety of them and this is just the one that I've been using this week but I can definitely vouch for the formula that if any color you choose like if you like peaches or more natural colors you're going to find one of them and the formula of this is just really nice it builds on really nicely um, and it's easy to get a good blush look without going too overboard okay a combo for my under eyes that I've been loving is this Jouer concealer I've talked about this before. This is an amazing concealer. It's called the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer Creaseless Soft Matte. It has hyaluronic acid in it for plumping your under eyes and those fine lines. The color that I use is chiffon and I'm pretty pale right now so this is a pretty light color and it has a little bit more yellow to it than I typically go for but I've been loving this color. It is full coverage. I need like a dot 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 like barely at all and then I blend this out. It is just so beautiful on the under eyes and if you have like fine lines under your eyes or anything, this is really nice because it, it feels almost like it's not it's not drying under your eyes and it doesn't crease. It's just a really nice finish and I love it so much. Another thing is since it's the winter time and I tend to have a little bit more dry skin, I got a sample of this powder from Becca and I've been wanting to try this because I heard it was really unique. This is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This literally feels like I'm setting my eyes with water. It's the weirdest consistency. It's a powder, but then once I put it under my eyes, it just, let me grab, oh, just like a touch of it. Once you put it under your eyes, it literally is like you feel, like it feels wet. Like my brush like feels wet. If you experience any type of dry eyes, if you have dry skin at all, or you feel like putting powder under your eyes to set your concealer makes your eyes look crepey, your under eyes look crepey, try this out because it has been like a lifesaver. This combination together has been perfect. I love it. This is a small little sample and I wonder if like I found the code off of Ebates, um, which by the way, I do have an Ebates giveaway up on my channel right now. Um, if you're not signed up for Ebates, definitely go check out that video, sign up and enter the giveaway. It's for like $250 gift card. But um, I found the code for this on Ebates and you, I just got like this one free. I'm definitely gonna be purchasing the full size. If I can find that exact code, I will leave it linked in the description box below so that you guys can try this out as well. Okay, another thing that I am so glad to have back in my life, the Flower Beauty Sponge. Now, this sponge has been my favorite forever, but I had one for like seven months that I used, and I cleaned it all the time. But it got like smelling kind of funny, so I ended up picking up a new sponge, and I went without it for like probably like two months, 
and I finally got it back this week and I'm like thank you so much for coming back into my life there's no other sponge like this one honestly this is the best sponge that there is it just it's soft and fluffy and I feel like it just pounces the foundation on so flawlessly it sinks into my skin it provides a lot of hydration so I really really love this sponge if you are looking for a really affordable one this is eight dollars I think it's best I like it actually better than the beauty blender or any sponges I think that this one from flower beauty is the best you can find flower beauty products at Walmart or at Ulta so this is definitely one to pick up to apply your makeup make sure you get it wet you squeeze the water out I know a lot of people like friends of mine who don't necessarily watch my videos they're like you know they get the sponge and if I or if they do watch my video and I don't necessarily say that they don't know that so just in case you don't know using a sponge the best way you're going to get the most flawless application is if you run it under the water you squeeze the water out and you let it expand that's how you use a beauty blender you don't use it dry or I wouldn't recommend using it dry it's going to be to its full potential when you're using it wet so get it wet wring the water out squeeze the water out you wouldn't be surprised how many people don't really realize that but this is a great one if you're looking for an affordable one and one that works better than the expensive ones okay one last product before my flop this is from Tarte and it is the highlighter in stunner this is the Amazonian clay 12 hour highlighter I love their Amazonian clay line because I just find that it stays on the skin since it's made with that Amazonian clay there's something about the staying power in that this highlighter is just so beautiful it's almost like this gold but I can't describe the color it's like a gold but a champagne and it's just a really really beautiful highlight and it stays on my skin for a really long time and it does give like a really nice highlight but you can also kind of blend it out and get sort of like a subtle glow there's no shimmer in it it's just like a, sh a beautiful sheen and it's a really really pretty highlight this is in like a smaller packaging of one and I think this got passed down to me from my friend Dana and I'm like sorry you can't have it back it's really good I don't know why you gave it to me because you're missing out but um this has just been one of my favorite highlighters recently okay last product is a flop and I tried this new mascara from Maybelline and it's called the snap scara I just didn't like it and I don't know what it was about it that I can I feel it has a nice brush it's a natural bristle brush it's a curved wand which typically I do like so I just when I tried it on like it just didn't do anything for my lashes it coated them but very simply like it didn't do anything spectacular for my lashes so anyways this was a flop for me and I feel like I, I wish I could give a little bit more detail about mascaras to get to tell you like why I didn't like this but I just didn't feel like it did anything special. If you're looking for a really great mascara, I recommend the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. That mascara is incredible, so get that one instead. Okay, that is it for my Friday favorites and flops. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave some of your favorites down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.